Welcome back to the channel, Jason here. I just received this from the mailman. I will cut through the packaging off screen and I will see you soon. Alright, San Matan has decided to package it very well. So, uh, there's another box within this cardboard roll. I will find some alternate use for this. Okay, and uh, we have got the hexagonal logo Sam Martin with the uh, bezel on the top. Let me just put this all to one side. How does this open? I am not sponsored by Sam Martin or Sam Martin yet. Okay, let's just open this box. How do we open this box? Okay, is it a screw on box? Feels like it. Yes. There are threads, and this is the SN0021, uh, the one with the uh, green, uh, allegedly green enamel down, and the uh, in guild, guild indices. Guild indices, this is the uh, BB36 homage. Okay, so let me just put it on one corner. There's, there's something else as I've seen through the other. Other videos, they're supposed to be, uh, what's this? Okay, I can't find the uh, warranty card inside. Maybe I'll find it later. Okay, let's just look at the watch. Alright, the plastic's still there. Okay, so this is meant to be a BB36. Homage, no date. I think the original BB36 doesn't have uh, a green and white indices version okay and uh, this looks to not have the cursive text at the six o'clock position okay let me just peel off the stickers off screen and see what else can i find inside the box Alrighty, i have peeled off most of the stickers from uh, the watch right there's one more here i just tear it off for your viewing pleasure, right? The San Martin, uh, San Martin hexagonal uh, logo with their mute class, with their mute class. All right, just look at the watch. S you can see it's a bit uh, somewhat dark outside, but it's still daylight and some indoor light on the coming from the left. Beautiful watch, beautiful watch. Pretty much draws its. <laughs> design aesthetics from uh, the BB36 uh, one main difference is the choice of colors All right let's just take some measurements okay I believe it's uh, if it's a BB36 this should come in at about 36 oh no it's not really 36 so it comes in at about comes in at about 37.3 at the uh, two an 8 o'clock position uh, luck to luck let's just see luck to luck where does it get us 45.2 oh no, no. 45.7 wow that's a very nice slim wear 45.5 the watch has got uh, I think this is a sapphire box dome sapphire crystal okay box dome sapphire crystal Solid steel case back with a sticker at the back. Solid case back. Let's just measure it for thickness. A very slim 11.2 mm. This uses a PT5000 PT5, movement. It's Is it a clone of a SW200? I believe so. Let's do another thing. Let's try the crown. Okay, let's just give it a few turns. Sounds alright, there's some resistance. Okay, just let me Okay, let me do the Oh, there's a ghost date position. There is a ghost date position. Alright, let me just slowly move the Let me slowly move the indices, you know the hands. Alright, let's just set it here. There is a ghost date position, it might bother some of you. Okay, I'm sure I, I, I felt the ghost state position. One, okay, one, okay. 
I engaged it there. All right, there is a ghost date position. Okay, let's just look at the case. Never mind, there the side. Okay, just look at the case finishing. Reflective, wow, very shiny uh, fixed bezel. Polish on top of the Lux. Polish on top of the Lux. Profile, a nice steam profile. You can almost see my face from there and the smudge marks. Uh, this is a three, three link bracelet. Some would say that it is a oyster style. Some say this is oyster style. Polish brush polish on the uh, entire uh, bracelet. Screw. Screw. Use a screwing system. Oh, I'm at loss for words. I can just use a small screw to remove the links. That's what I wanted to say. I've heard comments about. I've heard comments about the bracelet. Okay, this is a twin trigger bracelet, but feels fine. Feels fine. Case back. Let's just remove the sticker from the case back. Maybe I will uh, take uh, some of my comparable watches out. You know the price of this watch. I think this is uh, about about four hundred and twenty Singapore dollars. All right, four hundred and twenty Singapore dollars. Uh, I think this feels like a solid end link. This looks like a solid end link. All right, there's no there there are no design. There's no design on the case back. All right, with slight. Slight uh, knurling, reminiscent of a of those old Rolex cases. All right, so beautiful watch. Let me slide on my six and one quarter inch wrist for comparison. Okay, six and one quarter inch for comparison. Well, actually, it matches, fits my hand well. All right, it's starting to yes, it is raining outside. Okay, so let's just see. I see a lark. Why not I'll do this for you. Let me go and uh, size up the bracelet and I'll just put together a few watches for your comparison. Be right back. So here's the watch on my 6 and 1 quarter inch wrist. I removed uh, 3 links from the screw pins. Alright, so you can see I left it here to show you one issue with the bracelet. It doesn't slide in as well as I think. It's just apply very minimal pressure. You can see it still stays there, all right? But removing it is not an issue. You can only feel the issue when you start to... Eh, you notice that there's some resistance in the milk class between the female, female side and the male side, all right? It just doesn't glide on properly. There's some resistance. I think it's an issue that has been flagged. So the, the clouds have cleared and I've got some good uh, lighting conditions. Right, so uh, let me just do a first impressions. I just I bought this because of the Dow. There was an AliExpress summer sale, so you can get up to 10 percent. Was it ten percent? Seven percent in uh, discount from the price listed. I've uh, I'm always uh, curious to buy San Martin San Martin watches, but the prices really have been climbing up. And uh, again, as you can tell from my previous uh, videos, I am not a fan of collecting collecting AliExpress watches in general. I prefer something uh, unique and different, such as the Escapement Time, Escapement Time uh, Grand Seiko homage. But this was in green, and I do not recall any uh, green and uh, gilt guild indices uh, version for uh, the bb36 all right so this is a very lovely dial personally i prefer a text logo with the uh, maybe the tissot viso date font but uh, they have remained faithful with the uh, hexagonal logo the crown is also signed with the hexagonal logo and the buckle all right, the buckle has got the hexagonal logo. All right, so just let me put this watch down. All right, uh, okay, having some issues. All right, so I have at my back. Okay, you see, you just have you you just encounter some resistance. All right, 
there's just some resistance see? a lot of resistance clo uh, getting the buckle together all right so <laughs> maybe good maybe bad but uh that's just one of the issues I reflect. So uh, let me just turn around and take some watches for comparison. All right, so we have got the new release S5KX, one, the new logo, not really new, it has been here for about two years, two years already. Uh, this costs pretty much about a good hundred odd Singapore dollars, uh, less than the Saint Martin. But of course, you're not getting the uh, mute bracelet uh, the movement, the movement, you get the hollow end links, alright. You cannot use the hollow end links, but you have a day date window for better or worse, no screw down crown, hard legs crystal, alright. Then, the, okay. How about the Smiths? Small enough in case size. Small comparable case size, but I don't think they do in the green. They don't have anything in green for the Smiths, but people, people do try to queue up for the Smiths because of the uh, alleged heritage. All right, so more on that another time. This costs about how much more? I can't remember. Maybe two, three hundred Singapore dollars more than this. And oftentimes you really have to just camp in front of your computer to get this uh, watch which uses a premium Muta movement but no ghost date. Okay, so the uh, the San Martin has got a ghost date position, all right, for those of you who are sticklers. And finally, I think this costs also a bit more. I've mentioned this before, there's the relaunch uh, Seiko Alpenis. Seiko Alpenis with the red tax and the candy bar at the 3 o'clock and the internal compass. A much bigger watch. Uh, I think it co this costs almost twice of this. Uh, you are getting a uh, what which movement? A good Seiko movement. That's all I can say. 6R35. Mute class. Alright, mute class. Is this hollow end links? Looks like hollow end links ghastly, right? Ghastly sapphire crystal. So let's just put it on my hand. These two watches, all right. So look at these two side by side. There's a lot of heritage for the Seiko Alpenis. Just do a quick uh, YouTube search and you find it. All right. So let me just share with you my verdict. So is this San Martin for you? All right. Uh, personally, I would try to keep it in my collection for a while more. But if I have to perch, uh, this may go in the second wave, not the first wave. It is a beautiful watch. All right. Uh, it is pricey, but this is sunk cost. Uh, for those of you who prefer collecting watch, uh, prefer collecting AliExpress watches, buying AliExpress watches, you will know that. For the price you're paying for this Sam Martin watch, it's easily 50 to 70% premium of what you normally uh, have to pay for the other models. I cannot remember how much, uh, what was the price that Sam Martin, Sam Martin started out. I think for most of its 62 mass uh, dive watches, it was going at 200, 250 Singapore dollars. But this is 50 to 70% premium. Uh, the class has got an issue Ma just mentioned before I just not sure why you see it cannot glide on properly All right, you see you have to use a lot of pressure and there is a ghost state position in ghost state position because it uses the PT5000 uh, movement which is a SW200 clone so to speak logo logo can always be better but uh, they are going to stick to this for a while and uh, let's just see what I can do. All right, let me just see how how interesting it is. All right, so if you were to uh, go to the San Martin website, you have uh, see, go to the San Martin website. You know that you can customize your logo. You can have a sterile down. See, does it does the snowflake hand eclipse the hexagon nicely? Wow, yes, almost perfect. I think that's a great element of detail all right so there's a peekaboo 
All right, said Martin. Okay, so let me know what you think. Uh, I will just show some footage of uh, outdoor of it in outdoor conditions right now. Let me know in your comments. I'll see you in the next video, hopefully sooner than later. I'm very tired now. All right, see you soon. Cheers. So here is the watch outdoors on my six and one quarter inch wrist, the legibility. Uh, it's very, it's very good, although there are no numeral rows. All right, so there are four positions of micro adjust on the bracelet for better fit. Uh, loom short, loom short, as you can see, this uh, is very much uh, strong looking loom when you switch off bluish glow from the BGW loom. Alright, that's all I have for you today. Uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.